Uh, air temps, low 70s right now, as I showed you the top of the show. Look at the beautiful sunshine we've had out there. We had it yesterday, but it was certainly on the cool side. Today, really get the warming going. And you notice our planner for today is going to include very warm temperatures as well, too. All right, so let's talk temps. We've got 72 degrees out there right now. We'll go over the weather wall and talk 80s for high temperatures coming up. All right, so there you go. 77 Davis Island, 77 in Ruskin. St. Pete's at 77 degrees right now. Lando Lakes, a little bit cooler. Zephyr Hills, Lando Lakes, about 71, 72 degrees right now. Lakeland is at 73. Uh, deep south and east, obviously, it's going to be a little bit warmer. We've got 76 in Sebring now. Venice is at 77. So you go even further south, and it's already 80 in Miami. But what I wanted to show you in this picture is those wind arrows because that's an east to almost southeast wind down to the south. We're generally an easterly wind for today, but that's a warmer wind for us. So that plus the sunshine, plus the air is moderating is why we're warming up. Satellite and radar, plenty of sunshine now. These are some high clouds. These will be in here shortly, give another hour or so at least. I mean, if not by then, they will be here. But most of the rain that you're seeing here will fall apart, right? So I think we stay dry today. I'll keep an eye on a couple of those sprinkles. They look like they're trying to get close to Pasco, Hernando, and Citrus, but for the most part, we're dry today. Most of the moisture is back here, and most of it will go up across Mississippi and Alabama, of course, Louisiana. Very hard hit drought there in, in Louisiana and Mississippi, so good news for them. I wanted to show you, we just told you about the water restrictions. We're in an El Nino year, a strong El Nino, and that pattern tends to bring more rain across the deep south, including us, and this is just like what we're seeing now. So this is Thursday, right, tomorrow evening, well, a few more clouds around. Most of the showers stay out to our west, but you see overnight, tomorrow night, and Friday, we could see a stray shower. I think most of us would sleep through it. It's early on Friday if we do have it. Now, this is 5 p.m. on Friday. Look where most of the rain is. It's back to the north and the west. Still quite a few clouds, but east to southeast winds. It's a warm day, even with the clouds. And then Saturday looks dry to me. Stray shower over on the east coast. Look at all the rain to our north. We just missed this one. But this is a type of pattern that does eventually lead to better rain chances for us. And by Sunday afternoon, 4 o'clock Bucks game, I do think we're going to have some rain in the area. That's 1 o'clock there, and that will be sliding southward with the cold front. After that, Sunday night into Monday morning, we're clearing things out, or at least we're getting rid of the rain, and we're ushering in cooler air as we go through next week. I think Wednesday night, Thursday night, back into the 40s. Right? So we got about a week before we get right back into those. So today's warm, mid-70s. And tonight's when you really notice it, going out this evening, taking the dog out, walks, whatever you're doing, down through the 60s. It'll feel so much better. We were, highs were in the 50s two days ago, three days ago, right? So it's going to feel much better. Water temperature took a hit. It's at 61 degrees. Today's winds are going to the east, east 10 to 15 knots. Overnight lows, look at those. Those were much warmer than the highs we had the other day, right? So we'll wake up generally in the lower 60s tomorrow morning. And tomorrow afternoon, we bring back the 80s. Yes, this is why you moved to Florida. I heard all your complaints. <laughs> Not everybody complaining because we, we, we do like the cool every now and then. But yeah, we're getting back to Florida weather. 77 is about where we should be for this time of the year. There's the rain Sunday. It looks like now Sunday afternoon and evening. So Saturday, if you're picking a day, Saturday is the best day for this weekend. Don't worry about that 20%. That's late in the evening. Seven day forecast does show that cool down. I don't think it's quite as cool you notice it starts Wednesday, so 50s Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning, but then a reinforcing shot will get us down to the upper 40s by Thursday and Friday morning.